The president has officially called the opioid epidemic a national emergency. It's one of the worst public health crises in a generation. Drug overdoses are now the leading cause, the leading cause of death among adults under age 50. Opioids like heroin, think about this, they kill 91 people every single day. And every state is affected, with 12 states having more opioid prescriptions than people in the state. Now, you might know a lot of those statistics, but here's what you don't know. There's a radical, bold, and controversial solution that many believe is a promising way to help fix this crisis. Today, could medical marijuana, you heard right, could medical marijuana be the secret weapon to fighting opioid addiction? To learn more, I recently got exclusive inside access to one of the most cutting edge, high tech facilities growing medical marijuana. America's attitude towards marijuana is changing, especially when it comes to medical use, now legal in 29 states. New research is investigating the benefits of medical cannabis for a range of diseases like multiple sclerosis, glaucoma, and osteoporosis. And over the next five years, a study funded by the nation's top medical research agency is looking into whether medical marijuana reduces opioid use among adults with chronic pain. TV personality Montel Williams has been a medical marijuana advocate for years, and he's turned his passion into a business, launching a line of medical cannabis products. Recently, Montel took me on a private tour of a licensed cannabis cultivation facility. And then we dipped in a breeding hormone first. What struck me here was the science of it all, how the environment was meticulously controlled, the plants selectively bred, and the lighting timed and color adjusted. What we're doing is we're mimicking the way the sun goes around the earth. So at the beginning of the plant's life, it's like in spring. When fall's coming, the sun gets closer, the days get shorter, the higher red light is, a lot of sun. So this is one of our bloom rooms, 50 lights in the bloom room, and we've got about 25 square feet. Oh my goodness. For light. Oh so, my, look at these. And then this, do you get the pot from these? Yeah, go ahead and that's, it. That's, well, give us, give us that's a blend. Turkey. That's what we call it. Oh yeah. gosh. Oh, give us this one right here. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I was, this is how they figure it out. Look, look right here. Look up in here. Look how pretty that is of a flower. It's, it's, it's crazy. But you can't get high from just smelling this. No, not just by sticking your nose on it. But if you uh, continue to touch this right now, it's resiny. So I mean, if you did this over the course of about four hours, it might, you might feel a little bit of effect. Just touch it, but that's a lot of fun. Montel is here to talk about this controversial idea to use marijuana to treat opioid addiction. Also, Dr. Yasmin Erd is a neuroscientist studying the impact of marijuana and opioid addiction. Thank you for the tour. Absolutely, sir. But let me start with Dr. Erd. The latest research, what's out there that might tempt us to think that marijuana, which people always criticize as a gateway drug, may actually be the salvation for many suffering with opioids? Um, you know, although marijuana has been used for millennia, research is still in its infancy.